Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, so this video is going to be specifically focused on network cards for your R340 server. Uh, one of the main things that I wanted to point out was there is no daughter card for the R340. Uh, if you want to have additional ports, if you want to have um, at least 10 gigabit of speed or higher, um, or if you want fiber connectivity, you are going to have to have a PCIe card. There is no daughter card. So I wanted to repeat that. There is no daughter card. You have to have a PCIe card. Now, technically, there are two ports that are one gigabit RJ45 built into the back. So if you just need to connect to the internet, sure it has it. But if you want anything extra, you will have to use a PCIe card. So let's hop into the, uh, the different types. So what are the different compatible types for the R340? You have RJ45, SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, QSFP56. So there's a bunch of different types that you can install in there. Uh, what we're normally selling, to be quite honest, is uh, two 10 gigabit uh, RJ45 or two 10 gigabit uh, SFP Plus, that's generally what most people want, so that's what we have on our configurator. But if you want something different, just call our sales team or email our sales team and we can offer uh, different solutions. So what are the different speeds? 1 gigabit, 8 gigabit, 10 gigabit, 16, 25, 32, 40, all the way up to 100 gigabit. Uh, there's a bunch of different speeds that you can use, but again, what we primarily have on our website are the dual 10 gigabit. But if you want something different, just message our sales team and we will definitely be able to accommodate you know, whatever custom configuration you want for your R340. So, all right, uh, now that we know a little bit more about the different types and speeds, uh, what's all compatible, let's actually install one of these. And then at the very end, we're actually gonna put up a list that we'll put a minute mark right now, but at the end, we're we're going to put up a list and it's going to show a bunch of the different types of cards that are compatible with the R340. And this isn't everything. I'm sure there's other stuff. And if you want to drop a comment below about a card that you use or that you like, I would love to hear that because I'm sure other users would like to know. But we're going to put up a list of stuff that we've, that we've tried and researched um, that will work for the R340. So let's hop in and show you how to install one. All right, so we laid out a couple of options, and this is nothing in the sense of how many cards and how many options there really are, but we just want to show you a couple of options that we normally sell, and this, is, again, is the uh, dual 10 gigabit RJ45 and the dual 10 gigabit SFP, uh, SFP Plus. Um, both are great options, and uh, we're going to show you how to install them right now. So first things first, make sure your latch is set to unlock. Pop the top. Very simple. So we're going to come back here to the riser, so we're going to open the blue and we're going to lift our riser up. I'm going to install it um, on this side because what we have is a low profile. So what you're going to do is remove your bracket and you're going to need to line a couple of things up here. You're going to need to line this uh, your tip up down here and you're going to need to line your three, I'm sorry, your two connectors up and the top of this PCB board actually goes into this black slot right there. So you need to line up the PCB board, the two connectors here with your, um, uh, your PCIe slot, and then the uh, bracket itself. So that's all everything we're going to line up. So let's just go ahead and get it going. All right, so we've got the black part in. We've got the tip of our bracket in. So now we're just going to simply just push this in and we are all set. Okay, so you see it's fully in, you can't see the leads anymore, and now we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and install our riser. So just line up your riser. And it's nice and flush. Put your blue back, and you're good to go. So it was really just that simple as far as installing your network card. And then you just put the top 
and we're done. So if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers yourself, whether that's Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to support your team. We also do AMD Epics, AMD Ryzen's, Intel Scalables. Uh, we offer a ton of different solutions and we'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And thanks again for stopping by. Take care, guys. Thank you.